Okay, I got my uh, wheel weight into the shop here, and I was trying to get this stud out. Now, what I ended up doing is uh, I could not get the stud out uh, to save my life. I don't know if you can really see it, but what I ended up doing is just drilling the stud out, and I went one drill bit size bigger and bigger and bigger until I just uncovered the, the threads in there. So, you know, the threads of the bolt were still stuck in the threads of the, the weight, basically. Uh, so now all I'm doing is tapping this out, and I had the I had it started in there. I backed it out just to make sure that I was I was cutting into the existing threads and not cutting over the threads. Because if you cut over the threads, then you're just leaving behind what your bolt left behind, and you're going to be stuck with no threads. So I backed it out, and I'm all good. I'm riding in the right grooves. I already tapped these ones out just to get the rust and, and scale out of them. But this one I got to tap in and and uh, get some threads in there. Yeah, there we go. We got the tab bottomed all the way out. So that's uh, gonna have a nice set of threads in it now. And I'll be able to get a bolt in there. Uh, that's pretty much what was holding me up from putting these on one of my tractors here. Um, and I do have I do have the set of wheels that I can uh, set on for a, a dual set. Uh, I do have to break them down. I'm going to clean them out and make sure that there's nothing that's going to pop the tubes or whatever inside of them. They're not the best tires, but I'm not really going to spend the money on tires right now. Um, but there it is. That bolt threads in there real nice. So we got three bolts in here, and we can uh, go ahead and get this put on a tractor. All right, I'm still getting these things ready here for my um, the 69 Super Convertible. I'm going to set up with dual wheels. But as you can see here, I've got uh, all the bolts, all new uh, grade 8 bolts for these uh, spacers here uh, and they're all threaded out so that's all set to go. Um, my next step here I'm going to get some tires ready to go. Um, I'm not going to buy new tires because I don't want to. Uh, what I got here is this is a uh, this is a decent tire but you can see the rim is is uh, shot. Oh. Uh, this tire here is is really no good. You can see how dry rotted and cracked it is. But the rim's good, so I'm going to break these down and, and swap that around and get me a decent tire out of that one. And this one here, the, the overall package, the tire and the rim on this are pretty good, but I'm going to break it down and, and clean it out. It's got quite a bit of rust scale and, and such in the bead here. So I'm just going to break these down, um, clean them up, put them back together and get two uh, decent tires that hold air. And then I can bolt these right on my tractor and we'll get that all set up with dual wheels. Alright, I'm out here early in the morning. Uh, I got my tires swapped around and filled up with air last night. Um, it was getting late and I was running out of daylight. And plus I wanted these to sit uh, overnight and make sure they, they held air overnight pretty well, which they do. They're still pretty stiff. And I'm getting ready to put these on my 69 here so I can have dual wheels. It will be nice. Um, I filled these up. Right there, that's my, uh, my assistant. His name is Doc. He's half lab, half boxer. Uh, if you guys pay attention to any videos I do that are kind of around my house and such, he's walking in and out of every one of them. He <laughs> goes everywhere with me. But, got my coffee. Check this out. And this is what I use to fill up my tires. This is my uh, antique-ish uh, Devilibus air compressor. Uh, there's no reservoir tank. It's just got a 30-pound blow-off valve, uh, which makes this thing is perfect for just, you know, filling tires around the house. Uh, it's pretty nice for airbrushing, stuff like that, too. Uh, but I have no idea what year this is or anything. It's a Devilibus Type 501. Uh, and I've tried. I can't find any info on it. So if anybody knows anything about this, feel free to let me know. But it works great. So that's what I use around the house. Uh, but there it is. I'm going to get these things set up and get them put on my tractor. All right, I'm all done. i got my uh, dual wheels bolted on here. Uh, they're not the best tires in the world. I mean, at some point here, I'm going to have to replace all the tires on this. They're all pretty old. Uh, these ones are bald. These ones have some dry rot, but they still hold air. So they're good enough for now, but uh, I like it. It's all, uh, you know, it's kind of a complete tractor now, in my opinion. I, I got the duels and the sulky put on it with the hood and stuff. I mean, if you guys have watched some of my videos coming up with this thing, I kind of started with just a bare tractor. Um, I picked up my parts and pieces along the way, went to the mowing, and I've, I've put this machine together here, and so I'm happy with it now. I mean, like I said, in my opinion, I, I feel like I have a complete tractor now. Um, let's get a 
view from up here. I got the 40 inch finish mower on it now. I got the duals and the it's a good looking tractor and by far the super convertibles are my favorite. So I'm really happy with this tractor now. Um, I'm not going to bother firing it up and, and doing anything with it today. Uh, mostly because I took the battery out and put in the commercial 12 so I could work on that. Uh, but if you haven't already and you want to see this thing running and mowing some grass, check out my videos. I do have one of it. But there it is. It's all put together the way I'd, I'd like to see it with my dual wheels. Alright, there it is. Thanks for watching.